Alright, much brew time, playing some green red werewolves in standard. Uh, that sounds reasonable. Got a okay curve, not super aggressive, but it's functional. Start on the game trail, pass turn. Island for our opponent. Well, let's play a forest and just... Actually, let's lead on Lamholt. If our opponent doesn't have a spell, we'll get to flip it. And if they're a control deck, they might not have a turn two play that they, especially if they want to cast on their main phase, like anticipate or something. You'd want to leave up another island. All right, so we get to flip pacifist, game trail, reveal forest, get in with pacifist, and then we'll play dusk watch. Opponent must have revolutionary rebuff. Yep, there's rebuff. All right, ah, uh, that's fine. We'll pass the turn. Leave up our Blossoming Defense. There's a Mountain. Oh, this might be like a Dynavolt deck. All right, Game Trail, reveal a Forest. Play Gaia Reach Bandit. Opponent Void Shatters. Well, our main plan is just ride this Lamholt Pacifist to victory. That's why we're being so careful to kind of play off curve to leave up this Blossoming Defense. There's a Forest. Let's get in with Pacifist. Play Arlen Cord. Another rebuff. Pass turn. Well, our opponent's at eight. And we still have a 4 4. That's a good draw. Well, let's get in with our Lamholt Butcher. Opponent takes it down to four. Pass turn. Opponent anticipates. And anticipates. So let's Hellpack Resurgence. So our Butcher is going to flip, but Hellpack Resurgence means its power will be big enough that it can still attack, which means our opponent's kind of in the same position. Yeah, they anticipated twice, so maybe they found an answer, but they're still in a position where they got to find a way to deal with this 4-4 or they're going to die. And Fumeral's not a very good answer, especially since we have Blossoming Defense. Uh, Ether Hub plus Harness Lightning would do it. And if we don't get here with this pacifist, then we are in trouble. Because our opponent definitely has the advantage in the long game. So if they can, like, harness lightning with counter back up here. There's harness lightning. Well, you got a counter to go with it? Ooh, they do not! The blossoming defense gets it done! Whoo! All right. Well, this seems like a matchup for Hermit of Natternals. Hermit of the Natternals. Whenever opponent gets a spell during your turn, you draw a card. If it's flipped, you draw two cards. So I think we want that. This has to be a Dynavolt Tower deck, so we probably want Natural States. And we may want the Spirit of the Hunts, which is a good way to protect our stuff. Maybe the other Silver for Partisan as well. Going down Gaia Reach Bandits, first off. Uh, secondly, the Moonlit Hunts don't seem great in this matchup. And then maybe Planeswalkers are good if we can get them down, I think. Probably Ulrich can go, because our opponent's probably not going to have any creatures to fight. And let's say Village Messenger. Let's try it like this. Um, this hand's reasonable. We'll have to see how many counters our opponent has. That's the big question. But Timber Gorge, go. Since we're on the draw here, it means our opponent can theoretically rebuff our first play. Which might be a reason to lead on Smuggler's Copter. Because our opponent can't rebuff it. They can negate it. This hand is actually pretty good. It has a lot of what we want. We're just hoping we'd peel our third land. But this is a lot of what we're hoping for in the matchup. We have two creatures that are sort of protective against removal. Two Planeswalkers, which dodge creature removal. Uh, Spirit of the Hunt has a flash threat, which is nice, and a blossoming defense. But we really need land number three. Well, no land number three, so let's Dusk Watch. Here comes the counters. There's the rebuff. Well, we can't really do much. We can't. I don't think we can just pass there. If we drew a land, I probably would have passed and tried to Spirit of the Hunt. There's a game trail. Tapped. Well, let's try to Pacifist more counters well we're getting the counters out of our opponent's hand which is nice opponent's passing 
We get a Cinder Glade tapped. All right, so let's pass the turn. I think our plan here is to pressure our opponent at the end of their turn with Spirit of the Hunt. If they don't counter it, that's fine. If they do counter it, then we untap and play a Planeswalker. So there's Spirit of the Hunt. Very good in control matchups. Even just a 3-3 for 3 is not horrible. Opponent's trying to decide if this is worth countering. Uh, this puts our opponent under a lot of pressure. Because this means our Copter is going to be active. And we get to start looting. So fire up Copter. Go attacking. Opponent goes with Harness Lightning. So let's Blossoming Defense. Opponent uses another Harness Lightning. So this might seem bad, but it's actually way less bad than it looks. We lose our Copter, which is annoying, but good news. We get to resolve a Planeswalker. And Nissa is super good in control matchups. We learned that playing the Mono Green Stompy deck. Well, let's make a plant. Get in for three. And let's just pass for now. All right, opponent Glimmers. We can flash in Howlpack Resurgence. Opponent's up to six lands. That is Torrential Gear Hulk territory. Well, Howlpack Resurgence. There's a rebuff. Well, let's make a token. Get in for three. And run out a Silver for Partisan. Also good at blanking our opponent's spot removal. All right, opponent Glimmers. Well, that's kind of fine. We're going to have a Partisan down, and we get to leave up Blossoming Defense. So, pass the turn. There's a land for our opponent. We get a Forest. Well, let's make a Plant Token. I think we're on the, the ultimate Nissa plan here. Do some attacking. Is it Torrential Gear Hulk time? Yep, looks like the answer is yes. So there's the Gear Hulk. Going for Glimmer of Genius. Interesting. Okay. Opponent Glimmers. Uh, probably going to kill our Silver Fur. Yep. So Silver Fur down. Good news is we have an Arlen Cord. And we'll make a Wolf. Pass the turn. So now if we can just chump one more turn without our Nissa getting damaged we can ultimate and draw five and that's going to go a long way towards us winning this game i think we're not in a bad position on board really but we're way low on cards and nissa can fix that problem maybe that's wrong maybe it's better to just tick down and try to win with our board opponent passes okay summary dismissal is another concern well let's tick up arlen Opponent blocks here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Man. All right, let's give up on Nissa. Take down Nissa. Since our opponent has summary dismissal mana, it seems safer to go this way rather than risk it all and lose it to a summary dismissal if we try to ultimate. Gonna be even more important in standard with, all right, another Gear Hulk. Does this keep our opponent alive? We have a Blossoming Defense. Opponent kills one of our tokens. Okay. Oh, man. Opponent has all the Galvanic Bombardments. We attack with everything. Our opponent blocks, blocks, and only takes four. Well, maybe we should have tried to ultimate. Well, let's just attack with our Spirit. Opponent, double blocks. Sure. We kill a torrential. Pass the turn. Thing in the ice. Plays a land. Opponent. Passes. We draw a land. Well, let's make a token. Bolt our opponent's face. Play Cinder Glade. Pass the turn. If our opponent can flip Thing in the ice in short order... That is super bad. Like, we lose the game. Bad. We're back to trying to ultimate Nissa, I think. This ended up being a super interesting match somehow. I really thought we had it on that big turn. Our opponent had to have three, uh, three removal spells, essentially. 
Phone is going to get frisky with Torrential. Or not. Thinking about it. Alright. Uh, well, we will chump with a plant token. Another blossoming defense isn't bad. Well, let's pump up a plant. Make a plant. Maybe we tick down? Alright, let's tick down again. Go on the big attack. The question is, do we go for the win? We might have to. So risky, though. Let's just let it go. Opponent drops to two. And pass the turn. We don't really want to let our opponent turn on their counters to start flipping thing. Our Planeswalkers are certainly keeping us in this game. And our opponent scoops it up. Whoa! Wow! I can't believe... I can't believe we got there. Whoo! Well, that was essentially the perfect hand to fight against the control deck. Uh, didn't have our Nat Hermit and Nanerals, but still, that was a really good hand for a control deck. So, whoo, sweet!